this is my hustling hat, all right? My summertime hat. I'm an educated individual. I'm a high school dropout. I'm a learned individual. I'm a jailhouse lawyer. I'm a precedent setting case, State Illinois versus Dwayne Davis, 1986. It was about ending the war on drugs to address the violence in America. Don't hate the player, dog. Hate the game. Get a birth. All right. Lake County, Illinois. North Chicago. 14th Street. Male. White. White. You feel me? Corrine is my mother. It's a legitimate birth certificate. My birth certificate says I'm white, but I'm black. So we're going to talk about black and white justice, not just us. Justice. Take a look. You know what I'm saying? What do you see? I turned in your corruption machine on February the 2nd, 2011 to the state's attorney's office. And these were the cases, Maryland, Illinois, and Maryland. All right. We went to your city solicitor. I was running a homeless program and Governor O'Malley approved it. He approved the program in 2006. Started using toilets to do this. Movies, you feel me? This is my art studio, art and activism. That's Dwayne Gerald Davis case number, right? I was making a movie about y'all's politics. I fired my lawyer. Waiver of Maryland rules requirement, all right? I fired my lawyer. We the people of the United States, amendments of the Constitution, United States as ratified by the states, preamble to the Bill of Rights. The conventions of a number of the United States having at the time of their adaptation of the Constitution expressed a desire in order to prevent misconstruction, to prevent misconstruction, to abuse the powers that further the, the I can't read very well. No, the first 10 amendments to the Constitution were ratified December the 15th, 1791 and form what we known as the Bill of Rights. I am using the Bill of Rights as my basis of my defense. I'm, I'll only use the ones pertaining to my case, which I am currently being illegally held for in the Baltimore County Detention Center. I was making a documentary about racism in America's judicial system. I'm a political prisoner living in exile in my own country. State Attorney Schellenberger has full knowledge of this all right, documentary. Amendment 1, Congress shall make no laws establishing the religion or prohibiting the free exercise of freedom of speech. All right. I have a book called The Minority Report. And it breaks it down. This was the documentary. Like I said, I was making a movie. Y'all locked me up for making a movie about Baltimore City and Baltimore County. That's my physical when I took a physical. I was insured for $250,000 and y'all didn't pay me my money. I had a million dollar policy with a uh, brother insurance. Y'all didn't pay off my policy. Y'all owe me. That's footage. There goes the camera. And there goes the toilet. I'm getting ready to flush some careers down the hole. I was making a movie about y'all's politics and y'all's politicians. Marilyn Mosby, Nick Mosby. Congressman Elijah Cummings. Judge Bell, Jack Young, Andrea Jones, Mayor Stephanie Rollins Blake. I sent this to John Stewart on Broadway. I sent this to John Stewart. See that? September 2012, I sent this to John Stewart. They sent it back. Watergate 2012. It was about your Democratic Party and the money you make off of black bodies. You feel me? And I was going to show you how it works. I was going to show you how it works. I was going to show you how it works. Because in the sea of black people, it's these white people you need to pay attention to. The haves and the have-nots. Like I said, that's Judge Bell. That's Judge Bell. Legislative Black Caucus. Legislative Black Caucus. Ben Cardins, he ain't in it. Eric Holder, he ain't in it. James Broschini, Judge Pearson, and Frank Conway. All right? See these other people, the haves versus the have-nots. The haves versus the have-nots. You feel me? Hey, Kelly, I need you to do a... I need this to be notarized. 
This is me. I'm in the Randall's Town Citizens to Change. I'm part of that group. This is the Towson Pat update. Police arrest suspect in the Towson, Bur Towson bombing. Updated February 5th, 2011. That's my film producer, Rob Fixed. I was making a movie. And that's my film producer. Ain't no law against making a movie. That's my film producer. And that's me. That's the film. And it's about your police and your policing. It's about your Democrat. I'm going to break you down. Matter of fact, I already did. That's me in jail in Illinois. Patrick Fitzgerald. Yeah, that's Nathaniel Oates. He's in jail now. That's McFadden. That's the Maryland House of Delegates. You feel me? That's the Maryland House of Delegates. So I put y'all all on here. Barbara Robinson. When I was locked up, y'all knew about it. You feel me? The supporters of shorties. We are employing any and all appropriate officials in the state of Maryland to assist shorty in this effort for justice. I came to you with my problems. You had the issues, but y'all make a lot of money off of black bodies. You feel me? Y'all make a lot of money off of black bodies. You got my paperwork. WBAL, Jason Duentes. I mean... That's Mary Wells from the Supremes. That's Dick Gregory. William Murphy. That's Ozzy Newsom. That's Ed Molotolo from the Ravens. Like I said, my paperwork is here. I fired my lawyer. I fired my lawyer and defended myself because my lawyer participated in the fraud. My lawyer wanted me to plead guilty to a terrorist activity and I'm not a terrorist. I'm an activist. My lawyer wanted me to plead guilty to a crime I didn't commit because lawyers coerce confessions. And I'm not going to do it. We're going to shine the light on this. Like I said, that's one side of the storyboard. That's George Clinton, Parliament Funkadelic. That's Brooke Lieberman. That's Clinton Kelly from Salt Lake City. That's Dwayne G. Davis at my store, 2007. That's Thomas Miller. Like I said, I was making a movie about y'all. Per your request, when I was in your store to get a sandwich about 10 days ago, I enclosed the Sundance Film Festival information. As you can see, unfortunately, the submission date is, deadline has passed for the next year in 2009. I started my shit with a little grill on the side of the street. I asked for Martin Luther King's job, and that's what the movie was about, because we ain't got no more leadership like that. We got too many self-serving demigods. So I gave it to you. I gave it to you, 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 to whom it may concern, good valuable consideration, the receipt of this knowledge, I understand that to hereby the permission of Fix Entertainment, LLC, I was making a movie and it's all about you, Gov, the movie's about our representatives, because like I said, the Supreme Court of the United States, I'm a jailhouse lawyer, I ain't a jailhouse snitch. In reply to your letter, submission referred to this office in the Chief Justice in April of 2007. Under Article 3 of the Constitution, the jurisdiction of the court extends only to those considered controversy, property, property. This is a controversial case because y'all charged me with terrorism. This is a controversial case me with terrorism. And then you took the, the, the terrorist activity. You took my truck, my computer, a jailhouse diary from 1986 and a diary from 2006. It was detailing everything that I did on the day. was in it. Judge Turnbaugh was in it. Judge Bell was in it. Judge Pearson, Judge Holland, Judge Janae, Judge Souter, Judge Papaya. Yeah, Judge Cox. It was about your courts and the money you make off of black bodies. That's the Judiciary Committee. I testify and my testimony is there. And that testimony that I testify in front of you is going to be submitted to the Supreme Court. The evidence that I gave you, submitted to the Supreme Court. That's Chief Justice Roberts. All right. This is a follow-up letter and closes a videotape dated 2010 elections. The 2010 elections is when y'all locked me up because I was blowing the whistle on y'all. I was locked up in Illinois and in Maryland and labeled a terrorist because I was exposing the corruption 
in the courts. Alan Locks, Eric Holder, Rod Rosenstein, the Department of Justice. Yeah, my shit is legit. NAACP got it. ACLU got it. ACLU got this. Tony Holiness and the ACLU don't want to do nothing about this. The ACLU don't want to do You feel me? Y'all sitting here talking about y'all are champions for justice. GOP Carter didn't want to do nothing about it. Clippinger didn't want to do nothing about it. Telma Branch don't want to do nothing about it. Right here, Dwayne G. Davis. Like I said, I'm a jailhouse lawyer. And the constitutional right is my right of property. The entire contents of the defendant's vehicle, a 1999 Chevy Suburban. You got to pay me for the Suburban. That's $6,000 for the truck. All right? The possessions of the truck is another $130 million for the possessions. If these contents have been destroyed or displaced, to produce them to Jerome Joyce, Esquire, Office of the Public Defender. That's a body attachment. Nobody got locked up for destroying my evidence. Nobody got charged with nothing, but y'all charged me with terrorism because y'all want to protect him. It's making a movie about your prison industry, man. I've been in this long before Kelly Davis got with Keith Davis because y'all charged me with murder too. Kelly... Go to Schellenberger's office. They charged me with the murder of Scott Greenberg. The same way that they charged uh, Keith Davis with a murder. Yeah. I got a murder on my, on my back. You also charged me five or six other felonies. I beat all them charges. I'm innocent of everything. And ain't nothing that you can do about it. I was making a movie about your courts, your politicians, and the money that you make off of black bodies. For the good of what? All right. Shorty documentary. That's the people in the documentary. Shorty documentary. That's the people in the documentary. Shorty documentary. Rob Fix and Glenn Nelson production. I don't have Rob Fix and Glenn Nelson because those white men can't tell a black man's story. I can tell my own story. You feel me? That's the IRS because we're going to follow the money. We're going to count the money. This is me, 2006. Dwayne G. Davis on Falls Road. Get Shorty. That's the name of one of the movies. Get Shorty. That's my producer, Rob Fix. And that's the court telling you to return my property. You feel me? I got a movie, and the movie's about the haves and the have nots. You feel me? It's about the haves and the black bodies. That's Richard Wright. He's a lawyer. Ask him about me. That's George Clinton. Make my funk the P-Funk. I want my funk on cut. I want the bomb. I want the P-Funk. I want my funk on cut. That's Tyrone West. I'm an advocate with Tyrone West, Anthony Anderson. That's 98 Rock. That's a movie release. That's Craig Taylor, Zion, Illinois. Block Party gets bigger and better. Like I said, this movie curtails my life. Shorty puts the skills in. All right, you reading that? That's me. 2009. Look around, David said, we dying out here. And what are our options? We need to pull together. And I did pull together. Form and panel cites multiple reasons and to influence these kids to join the gangs. Unemployment. Household, and I gave it to you. That's my criminal case. Because, like I said, due process and equal protections. I want Scott Schellenberger disbarred. That's Paul Weinblatt. You got to get an audit. Audit from everything from 2007, 2008. That's Peter Francott. And that's Mr. Brooks. You know about it. That's juror ID number. All right, I, Dwayne G. Davis, respectfully approach the court. The Judge Cox, administrative judge, Baltimore County, under Senate Bill 374, private citizens' right to access the grand jury. Judge Barry Williams was involved in crafting the legislation to approach former the grand jury to submit testimony and evidence crimes committed by the state, Scott Schellenberger. All right? I'm pretty clear in this, and these are the supporters of shorties. These are the supporters of shorties. It's about Governor O'Malley and the money he make off black bodies. Because that's my son. That's my son. See the date? 
That's Pastor Jerome Stevens. He was there too. That's Fox 45, Kai Jackson, Mary Mubala. That's the IRS. That's my Department of Justice number, 2014, October 2014. It's racism for white people, racism 101. Warren Brown, Malcolm Ruff, in search of safety. Y'all locked me up and charged me with terrorism. I'm not a terrorist, I'm an activist. You know about it. You know about it. You know about it. She wrote the perfect ride when she came out to my store. Carrie Bennett. Perfect ride. That's 2009, long before I got locked up. Y'all mad at me because I abilities. I didn't break the law. The only law I broke was being black in Baltimore. The only bro law I broke was being an uppity nigga. Because I don't let white people talk to me any kind of way. I ain't that type of person. I'm not from around here. I'm from Lake County, Illinois. I'm right between Chicago and Milwaukee. I'm just a walk away. So. This is the haves versus the have-nots. All right. That's Jimmy Britton. Jimmy Britton got contracts with the National Aquarium. And because he's black, he gets them contracts. But he gives kickbacks to Classic Catering. Yeah, ask Jimmy about Shorty. Jimmy know Shorty good. Marsh Funeral Homes, they know me too. Everybody in this picture know me or know of me. But Congressman Cummings' legacy is going to be tainted because he's going to have to tell the truth. Jason Nuentes from WBAL, you're going to have to tell the truth too. It's about being black in America. Elijah Cummings got my whistleblower's application. He got to turn that over to President Trump. Kwasi and Fume. You feel me? That's John Stewart show. I sent that to him in 2012. So now y'all want to talk about race and racism. You had it. Potty training politicians. The toilet party. 2012. Watergate. 2012. Y'all didn't want to hear this back then. But now you want to talk about it now. White people didn't want to address racism in 2010. But you want to address it now because it's in your face. If blacks and Hispanics don't go to work, that means white people got to cut grass. White people got to go clean toilets. Martin Luther King taught y'all about the campaign of public shame. I'm shaming you and shitting on you. In the I'm going to shame you to the 13th power. Mic check. <laughs>